Will here from All Electric. Let's jump into these release notes for 2025.44.25.5. So now we can use Grok with uh, navigation commands. And this is, of course, in beta, it just came out. And you can see uh, here, you can use Grok to navigate to a destination. Pretty cool that they did add that. Um, and I'll be sure to test that in this video. Then we have Tesla Photo Booth. So now you can use this internal camera that's um, kind of up here in all Teslas to have a photo booth inside the car. Dog mode now has active, shows active. So on iOS, so on iPhones, you can see it shows live view of inside the car um, when you are in dog mode. Dash cam viewer update, which is really great now, shows if it's in self-driving or not and gives you more stats on what the car was actually doing in terms of braking, acceleration. You can see over here exactly what it's gonna see now. So when we see on X or whether it's on YouTube or something like that, you'll be able to tell exactly what the car was doing, whether it was self-driving or not. So really great to see that. I hope they do include a version number as well. Santa mode updates. There's a couple other things here um, in terms of visuals and all that. Light show updates. There's a new light show, paint shop upgrade. So there's a couple more things there. Um, navigation improvements are now show your recent destinations down here. So it's easier uh, to tap and go. Automatic HOV lanes now use the internal camera to count how many occupancies and will automatically turn that on for you. Supercharging map site. So only some of these have this great supercharging map um, that we can see the site layout and live occupancy. Phone left behind warning. So if your phone is left in the car and your car turns off, then it will show this on the display. Saving your location is now easier and also adding a home and work location as well. A couple improvements there. A new game, SpaceX Docking Simulator is now here, which is uh, pretty cool. And here you can see the 14.2.1.25. It shows all of that there. So with this newest software, if you wanna read all the improvements there, you can pause the screen and you can read all those improvements. Let's jump right into a test drive. Okay, so I'm in full self-driving right now. You can see self-driving is on and no destination point is set. So I'm gonna use Grok to set a destination point. Okay, Grok, I need to go to Staples and then I need to go to Costco. So you can see it's just searched for Staples and then Costco. It wasn't that great. Got the closest ones. Staples on Edwards Ferry Road in Leesburg, about eight miles away. Then Costco right nearby there, also seven and a half miles opens at 10. Set the route staples first, then Costco. That's right, let's do it. Route uh -huh. set to staples on Edwards Ferry Road first, then Costco wholesale nearby. 17 minutes total, arriving around 10.03. Okay, so it took a little second and I, thir I first thought it was just searching for it. Um, and now you can see that it has navigated me to Staples first and then to Costco, just like I requested. Now, there is a little bit of snow here on this single lane gravel road, but this is absolutely embarrassing to be in hurry. And we're going 13 miles an hour in a 25, really just going quite slow. I'm gonna give some a little bit of encouragement here because I did turn it up to Mad Max. I just pushed the pedal there and it is not going up to the speed limit. So as a human driver right here, I would at least be going 25 miles an hour. Full stop there made it a little awkward. We did get to that four way before this person, but the FSD, uh, again, that full NHTSA stop is kind of throwing normal passengers or normal drivers off because typically people don't go all the way to a full stop.
Okay, Grok, instead of going from Staples to Costco, we're gonna go from Staples to UPS and then to Aldi. Got it. Setting navigation from Staples to the UPS store on East Market Street, then to Aldi at Robinson Mill Plaza. ETA about 18 minutes total with traffic. Route set from Staples to the UPS store on East Market Street in Leesburg, then to Aldi at Robinson Mill Plaza. About 5.4 miles, 11 minutes to Aldi. So let's make it UPS yeah. store, Aldi, and then Staples. Got it. Updating the route to UPS store on East Market Street first, then Aldi at Robinson Mill Plaza, then back to Staples on Edwards Ferry Road. Total about nine miles, ETA around 20 minutes. So pretty impressive there. Um, it was able to change the navigation and I was able to give it an updated command because initially it didn't have staples in there. So really quite remarkable, just this navigation. And of course this is in beta. And so it was able to easily just through normal language, understand exactly what I'm trying to do and adjust the navigation accordingly. So excellent job integrating Grok into the Tesla. That is going to be a huge, huge feature. So we definitely want to be going this way. So I'm going to take over. This guy's coming out. There. The dollar to return there. Oh, that's crazy. All right. So next destination point is set in there. I did have to disengage a little bit, but I guess I didn't have to. I just wanted to because of personal preference. It would have gotten us there and it would have pulled up curbside probably further up from the UPS store. Now it looks like it's gonna turn left here, which I am gonna disengage because that's like a drive-through for a bank. Not a way to exit the parking lot, a drive-through for a bank. This is uh, a really good exercise in my practicing patience for my wife. Watching the car park itself incredibly slowly and for other people who are driving. 
as it backs up perfectly into the spot. Great job by the FSD.